Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawad Link's walkthrough videos. Um, today we are going to look at how we can configure, how we can run Sys Prep Utility in Windows. Um, I have this Windows 2012 R2 standard over here and this is my WhatsApp Gold server which we normally use for my demos. If you look over here. Um, so SysPrep utility is something which is very useful to test, duplicate and deliver a machine like a new installation but with all the software and installations which you have already pre-built inside. So it's very good when you are running um, an environment where you need to duplicate images of the windows where you have to create a copy of the images. So this uh, utility, utility comes very handy in that case. So there are a couple of ways you can run this utility. Either you can go by uh, command line and run this or you can simply go into this uh, folder um, which is inside Windows System32 SysPrep. So you can run this utility directly from here or you can run it through command line. Both ways are possible. So just to show you I'm going to run it from here itself. And if you look over here, it says system preparation tool prepares the machine for hardware independence and cleanup. So you have a couple of options. So I'm going to make it as out of box enterprise and then I'll reboot it and I'll say generalize it. Up to me whether I want to make it generalize or not, right? So I'm going to uncheck this and click OK for this. It would take some time to clean up the processes and stuff which needs to be cleaned up. But while it is doing it, I would like to show you something over here. And control panel, if you look over here, I have so many installations over here. And after this, we would see whether these installations are still there or not. So let this utility finish this work. And now it is restarting it, of course. So if you look over here, it seems like I have just reinstalled this Windows or I have uh, freshly installed this Windows. I'm, click, or I'm going to click on Next over here and then please read the license term and agreement. I'll accept it. And now what we are going to do is we are going to log into this machine. We have these users which are pre-built. So I'm going to click on Administrator. It's the same credential which I had when I reinstalled it. I freshly installed it. If you look over here now, I have everything in place. And it has just made this machine as it is pre-built. Look at the network configuration. That still remains the same. But the SID of this machine is changed now. So I'm going to just do these things which I normally prefer to do. And just to show you at the system level, and the control panel also. It's taking a little bit of time. So see, I have all the software installed. So I just need to rejoin this machine to domain because 
as I said that I have changed this so no. thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos please comment subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about